come down at the Gardens L House and uh, Palm Beach Gardens. They got multiple problems in the tile sections mainly where they're having the problems. This, I mean, there's, there's a mess of tile up here. I don't know if the people are not done with the roof or they just left it like this. But the, you know, the low slope, it's, it's in bad shape. I mean, this low slope area, you got a spot over here, right where you come up. Somebody's tried to repair it, but I don't think they changed the decking underneath. Right here, you see where that sagged down right there? That's, uh, do you see it moving? It's soft. I actually thought this door, I'll have to look inside, I thought this door had a concrete deck. I don't know what would have happened there unless it's uh, insulation on top. And the insulation is just uh, broke down. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of policing, I guess we would say, needs to happen on this. You know, all the wall flashings are loose. You see this? You know, the wall flashing shouldn't be filled up with air blowing from the ACs and stuff, causing it to, to bellow out. And it's, you know, all the way down like that. You can see it pulled in and out. The flashing they used, it's, it's not even galvalum. This, whoever did this, this is just actual galvanized metal. So, uh, I mean, I don't want to talk anybody's work down and get in the middle of uh, an argument about stuff. There's just, just some major problems with the tile portion. I'm going to go up this kind of rickety ladder here. They, they never turn them terminated the top of the tile anywhere. This is exposed tile underlayment. Underlayment cannot be exposed to the elements. It has to be, you know, it's for going under the tile. They just, uh, they tore out the old tile I guess when they did this and they got tile removed everywhere because I guess they just had so many problems walking around on a ledge here this should have never been stopped like this this should have had a cap that came over there and flashed onto that this never should have been like that See there, they, they just sealed to the wall, and then the tiles going, uh, you know, they got the tile right up against the wall, but there's nothing, you know, none of these tiles are even fast. I don't know if they, you know, it looks like they tried to foam it down, but I don't see anywhere they rip foam up. So, like I said, I don't want to get in the middle of, uh, of uh, you know, arguing with another contractor. That is not the way you put tile down with foam. Uh, when you foam tile down, the foam goes underneath. It adheres the tile, it adheres the tile here to the deck. There's no spots where they adhere this tile down. This is not done professionally. This flashing along this wall here, that should have had a new piece of flashing cut into the wall or at least a surface mount walk a flex going down on top of the tile to seal that in this this is uh this is not not this is terrible let me go around here see what i'm saying is you know look at this that's the pill and stick you know it's just it's terrible they just cement membrane on the top of there so any water that's getting behind there it's still going to go in there. You know, like I say, this has to have a flashing here. It has to have a flashing. Either cut a riglet in, run your tile up to the top, flash on top of the, the tile, up the wall with, we use Walkaflex now. It used to be lead back in the day. And then, and then you put your counter flashing on. The reason you do the two-piece counter flashing is so if you have problems or if you ever have to do anything you can take it apart and do it
go around here and look at the but see this is it's not it's not done right this year coming down the sides of this if this was a hot mop system you can get away with a little more of this this is not a hot mop this is just a pill and stick underlayment that cannot be exposed for more than probably 60 days to the elements okay down this wall here this wall should have had a uh, uh, six by five by one flashing put in there. Comes down here, you take a piece of Walka Flex. You don't you don't mud that shut. That water gets in that track, comes down here, runs on top of this tile, and goes out. Another at the top here. Concrete absorbs water. Okay, so what you've done is you've came up here, mudded this shut. That did absolutely nothing. This needs this needs a piece of flashing. If nothing else, a piece of Walka Flex. Should have had one more piece of tile there cut. Cut from here, you know, cut from here up to this, and then had of a cap on here with Walka Flex molded into each one of the the pans of the tile. This 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 uh this can't be exposed. That you know, it's it's all it is. You know, it's a poly stick, poly glass product that's only good to the elements for maximum 90 days. Okay, so they've put something out into the UV rays that will not stay. That's never been that's never been counterflashed. You know, you got it looks like they use torch down product. You know, torch some modified in there, which, you know, you're damming water up there. What you would do is have your flashing going down the sides there. Have that open so the water can get the heck out. You don't want to keep... This, uh... Yeah, this is, uh... This is something. Same thing here. You know, they mudded down the side of it. And then what they did is come back because it's leaking, which, of course... Look at this here. That's where they cut the tile. Tile, instead of recutting it to where it's up underneath the way it should be, they just try to pack some mud in there. This cap right here, incredible. It's incredible. I don't think they have ridge boards on here. See how the tile's going up and down up there? The reason it does that is you have to have a board in the center here that supports the the tile up it has to be fastened down mechanically fastened and then the tile fastens to the board keeps it a nice true uh, a, cr a true rake up there so yeah then again I'm not gonna get in the middle of you know who you hired to do this I you know quite quite <laughs> quite sure you would definitely got a lot better job Got a, got a light here, you know, filled it up like it was a pitch pan. There is no temporary fixing this. I don't want to give you bad news, but there's a lot of things that need to be done, you know, for us to put some kind of warranty on it. You know, all these things would have to be fixed. You know, and look, they started, they started to go ahead and mud here. It's almost like they left and they didn't finish. You know, maybe I'm talking crap and they're, they're not complete yet. Maybe they're coming back. These runs here are, are, are off too. Instead of them cutting the tile or whatever, they got one row here, which what happens is it holds the other tile up. If you can see the, the, the distance from that row, that row, and that row, they just, uh, they just kind of made them however. Instead of, you know, breaking it out to where it's even rows, the dimensions of the layout of the tile has to be the same because the tile fits together in a certain fashion. I mean, broken tile, pitch pan, light, about falling down. I don't think that thing's bracketed in there very well. You got broken tile everywhere. They just got uh, mud. You know, they got mud all in this... Uh, 
that's that's just exposed plastic roof cement plastic roof cement to the elements does not last okay plastic roof cement works great for underneath something it's basically your binder it's you know it, it doesn't the membrane there's no valley metal there's no valley metal in it there's no way that this got passed permitting wise especially in Palm Beach there's no way